Aubrey, I heard that you're doing a great YouTube series. Is that true? I heard that you're doing a great YouTube series. <laughs> I don't, I don't know why I said you. No, I love it. <laughs> I was going to so say nice. you're a YouTube sensation, but I was like, we just made that joke on yesterday's show. Um, so, guys, if you are not a subscriber to our YouTube channel, IELTS Energy TV, you are missing out on exclusive lessons that are not here on the podcast. They're only on IELTS Energy TV. And we have a nine episode series all about sample answers, right? Yes, and it's so good because we're being as systematic as possible about pulling out one strength from the answer and letting you know which score it's related to and how you can do that to get seven or higher on that specific score for the speaking exam. So they're so helpful. Make sure to check them out if you guys haven't. Because, you know, even native speakers, if they don't prepare, they might not get nines on IELTS speaking because you are scored on very specific things, guys. So watching this series is a great way to know what the examiner is looking for and what you are being scored on, guys, because we are very direct. We make it easy to understand so you can learn how to impress the examiner, okay? So definitely check out that series on our YouTube channel, IELTS Energy TV. And of course, remember to subscribe. All right, so we're going to give you sort of a sample of what those lessons are like today here on the show. Yes, we're answering a listener's question. Aziza asked, can you answer a part two, describe a person you're very close to? And yeah, there's a good chance you'll get a question like this, describing a person. So this is a great one to hear. And then I'm going to give Jessica feedback and specifically about one score, how you guys can use this strategy to improve your scores. All right. Awesome. All right. Um, now, just to let you know, I haven't even taken notes on this. I am just seeing this for the first time. So what you're getting is purely spontaneous, unscripted, something that hopefully um, you can aim for when you're doing your own sample answer like this. So, all right. Um, Starting your okay. timer. <laughs> you are the examiner, so you have to read the topic again, yes. and then I'll all talk. Right. Ready? <laughs> Describe a person you're very close to. Um, okay, so, wow, this was actually kind of difficult for me to choose just one person because I, that sounds like a brag, but I'm just very fortunate that I've developed a very supportive and close network of friends here in Portland. And I would say a lot of my friends are even closer than some of my family members. Um, but the person I'm going to tell you about is actually my sister, Amanda. She's my half sister because we have one of those uh, complex, um, confusing American family trees. My dad was married twice before he married my mom, and he had kids with both of those women, and I was in the third family, so I have much older siblings that are from different parents than I have, so they are halvesies, I call them. So Amanda is my halvesy sister, and she is definitely my closest sibling, because we um, are so much alike in so many ways. And I only met her six years ago. We didn't even know each other before that. And it just turned out we found each other on Facebook and she lives 45 minutes from where I live. And our families have grown so close since we first met six years ago. Um, Amanda and I are both into the same kind of music. We like to send songs to each other. Um, we both love tattoos and comic books. In fact, every time we see each other, when we meet for dinner or a movie or whatever, we always bring each other a bag of books because we're always exchanging comic books because graphic novels are so expensive. <laughs> so we're not both going to buy the same one. So as soon as I buy something, I take a, a picture of it and I text it to Amanda so she doesn't spend money on the same one because she knows I'll lend it to her. Um, and... We also have family traditions now that we've developed over time, like every Christmas, because neither of us like to Thank cook. Thank you. I'm sad oh. I have to cut you off because I really want to know. I was going to tell you about Christmas yes. pizza. Anyway. Oh. Okay, share really fast and then I'll give you feedback. Okay, Christmas pizza is a 
awesome. It never happens on Christmas because we have to do other family stuff, but we choose a day. Like this year, it was on New Year's Eve, and James and I went to her family's house, and we brought tons of pizza and chicken wings and chips and like un super unhealthy stuff, donuts, and then we all play funny games and eat really bad food and exchange Christmas presents. <laughs> Yeah, I can tell that's like super exciting because normally you eat pretty healthy. Someone who eats like that all the time, that wouldn't be like a fun holiday tradition. <laughs> be I just know. like every day. <laughs> oh good. God, no. Oh, I would feel so horrible. No way. Oh, I love pizza and chicken wings though. Okay. So okay. Aubrey, what can our students learn from my response? Yes. Yeah, so we're going to focus on, there's a lot of things Jessica did correctly. We're going to focus on the vocabulary score and specifically that you need informal vocabulary to get that variety of vocabulary. And a lot awesome. of students have the incorrect assumption that this would only be appropriate on part one, where they're very personal, casual, informal questions. Yes, mm -hmm. you can use slang and informal vocab on part one, but also part two, especially an answer like this. It's very informal. You're talking about a friend. You're sister of course you're going to use informal vocabulary slang so let's talk about some of the specific words that you used first of all um have these to, to <laughs> give this like word that is slang you've created that you use with your family yes share a made-up slang word and explain it like you did right so they're my have these which means a half sibling this is what we call each other awesome Yes, right? And I just want to point out also, guys, that if you do coin a word like that, you sort of make one up and you're not sure about it, as long as you put air quotes around it, if you're watching this on YouTube, you can see, be like, have these, and then like Aubrey said, explain what it means, and then it makes you look like, you know, you're this intelligent wordsmith, not that you're making a mistake, because you're not, right? You have to let the examiner know, I made this up, here's what it means, it's cool. Yes, and then this really informal, interesting way to say, I know this sounds like a brag. The sort of more formal way would be to say, I know it sounds like I am bragging, and to use it like a verb, which is more often how we hear students use this verb bragging, but to use it like a noun is more informal. Say, this is a bit of a brag, but I'm now going to brag, <laughs> right? Okay. Yeah, we all, yeah, you could only say that if you're gonna, um, you know, say something amazing about yourself. Yes. And I think that is a great filler phrase, actually, for speaking part one and part two. If yes. you're going to say something that, you know, that you're really good at or that you've done really well or like describe um, an amazing achievement. Because um, I know, like, I'm not super good at, at like expressing great things about myself, you know, like, I don't know, lots of people aren't. So um, I would always preface it by saying, okay, this is a bit of a brag, but I just, um, I just got on the Olympic team for snowboarding. This is my favorite thing about you, Jessica. <laughs> when you go to share like a random example, they're always amazing. <laughs> Super no, random. I love it so much. <laughs> of course you got on the Olympic snowboarding team and that would be your of course. example. <laughs> um, if you are watching this on YouTube, I don't know if you could see, but actually, yeah, maybe. Can you see my eye? You can't see it super clearly, but you could kind of see it. I have a friend that skis and she totally took me out this weekend when we went, um, when we went to the mountain, I, uh, I was, on, I was snowboarding and I jumped off a thing and I was in the air and my skiing friend came and took me out mid air. Oh, no. Like it was the, it was the worst crash. And my eye was like bruised and bleeding and stuff. Uh, okay. This anyway, might be back a new to phrasal the verb for you guys. Cause you, I, I was like, what do you mean? She took you out to dinner. She took you out for drinks. Oh no. Took me out, like ran into me, knocked me over, took me out the bad way of took me out. Yeah. Oh, that's a great phrasal verb for you guys. Two totally different meanings. Mm -hmm. I love it. Okay. okay. Do we have a couple more yes. slang words? Two more. To say that you're into something. Is this a very idiomatic, informal way of saying you're interested in something, right? So say, we're both into music is a more informal way of saying that. And then you threw in a gonna, right? We're not both gonna buy blah, 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 right? Just to pull the way you're speaking a little more informal to say wanna and gonna is great. And guys, remember on that note to always use contractions when you're speaking because it ruins the rhythm. It ruins the natural effect of anything you could be saying if you do not 
use contractions while you're speaking. So um, just just a little last rule in there to help you increase your speaking score, guys. Um, so if you're only listening to this on the podcast, that's awesome. We want you to listen to the podcast. But remember, these shows are also on YouTube, guys. So subscribe to IELTS Energy TV on YouTube. Hit subscribe, like this video if you're watching it on YouTube already. And remember to check out our new speaking series with sample answers and scoring advice. Yes. Awesome. This is really fun. Great job on that part two, Jessica. Way to use some fun slang. <laughs> oh gosh. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Aubrey, have a great rest of the week and I'll see you uh, next Tuesday. You too. Bye-bye.